The STEM program at Cleveland High School offers students an integrated, project-based, high-technology learning environment. STEM students apply their knowledge and skills in ways that have personal significance and work together with community partners to address real, authentic life, societal, or world problems. Now let's take a look at what Cleveland Science Department has to offer to students. Our goal here at Cleveland uh, is to prepare students uh, with a super rigorous uh, classroom environment, a culture of learning, but uh, to give them the tools to succeed in that rigor, not just to give them the rigor and leave, let them alone to sort of decide, figure it out on themselves. Our goal is to sort of be just as rigorous as other programs, if not more, but then give students the tools, the skills, uh, whatever they need to sort of raise their own abilities to meet that level of rigor. So our goal in the science department is to provide as many opportunities for students to uh, be exposed to science, to learn science, to have science opportunities here at Cleveland and beyond, but to have them prepared for those opportunities, uh, like I said, with content, but not so much with content, with more with the skills and, and the ability to sort of sit down and deal with some of the, the problems that they're gonna experience as scientists in the future. As ninth graders are gonna be exposed to physical sciences, uh, and depending, as 10th graders are gonna be exposed to biology, and as 11th graders are gonna have chemistry, and as seniors are gonna have AP class options. Uh, but at the same time, as freshmen, they're gonna, in the Seoul School of Life Sciences, they're gonna have uh, my, my, own, my freshman class, which is Biomed Science. They will have uh, Ms. Sabetsky's uh, Human Body Systems class, and then they will have Dr. Story's Medical Interventions class. So Ed students will have, uh, in addition to those core classes of physical sciences, biology, and chemistry, they're also gonna have engineering design classes that are specific to their own sort of pathway. So by the time students finish here, they should have it no less than five, six, seven, many, maybe as many eight different science classes that they uh, took while they were here in high school. Before becoming an Eagle, students get to choose an area of study. The two pathways are the School of Life Sciences, known as SOULS, and the School of Engineering and Design, known as SOED. The SOED pathway features classes where technology, computer science, and engineering play a significant part in student instruction. In engineering, students get real-world experience designing and building simple machines. Students who have an interest in robotics can sign up for the Robotics Club, which competes against schools around the state. In engineering classes, students will learn to make three-dimensional models of products that they already own or things that they may design. They're also going to learn a lot of math and science and that goes along with engineering. Access to a robotic arm, a small CNC machine, laser engraver, and a 3D printer. So what students can expect to learn in the technology-based classes like graphic arts and um, video production is industry standard software. We have a new lab um, fully equipped with Macintosh computers and they're loaded with Adobe software, the latest software. Well, what's cool about the technology at Cleveland is it's not just solely in the technology-based classes, but every kid at Cleveland is equipped with a laptop. And we encourage students to use those laptops at home, at school. Um, most teachers post all of their assignments online, their grades are online. So we really um, include technology throughout student learning. So the benefit for the students who enroll in the program, one, is we're the only high school in Seattle that gives students the opportunity to have three and a half years of computer science. Um, best case most schools it's one year and it gives them a benefit of as we said in the last question was the fact that they can get college credit they're actually getting credit either that replaces one of their general university requirements or and or um, gives them the credit for their first intro to computer science class that they would take as a computer science major so both of those you know, help uh, make you ready for college because it's giving you that experience of being ready for college. We're doing real college work in the courses and but with a lot of guidance and help at a high school pace. 
One of our goals is for students to develop computational thinking um, and also just to learn more about like what the field of computer science is about, what it can look like. There's lots of different opportunities in the field of computer science and it can look many different ways. Um, so kind of introducing students to the broad spectrum of that field. We have two advanced placement classes. The sophomore year is, it is advanced placement computer science principles and the junior year is advanced placement computer science A. And both of those classes make it so the students can have a college credit for while they're in high school. Yep. Cleveland's mathematics department is one of the most successful programs in the school. We've seen significant increases in scores on our AP math tests, and more students are signing up to take advanced level math classes. The department works closely together to make sure every math teacher is in sync with their instruction. Uh, I would say our ultimate goal is to make sure that every student has a solid foundation in um, making sense of math, uh, but also that we are able to provide an education that allows access to all students to higher levels of math. Um, that's one of the really great things about the four years of math here at a STEM school is that we really are pushing everybody to take themselves as far as they can with their math education so that people don't have uh, opportunities in their future choices cut off by not having achieved the math that would give them access to other things that they're interested in doing. Content-wise, we go from algebra through AP statistics and AP Calculus um, in terms of the, the different variety of mathematics that we teach. All of our math classes are collaboratively taught, so people will be working in teams, usually teams of three or four, um, as they're making sense of the math. Uh, we rotate those teams frequently so that everyone has a chance to learn from everyone else because we really believe that everyone has something of value to contribute and everyone has something of value to learn from all of the other students in the classroom as we make sense of our math together. Um, so we focus a lot on how do we not just teach people how to do mathematical things, but also how to kind of explore and engage in problem solving together because that problem-solving focus is a lot of what people will use no matter what their future career is uh, and so that collaboration and learning how to kind of puzzle through something together um, in the context of our classrooms is a really strong um, commonality across all of the math classes. Cleveland's humanities classes are a mixture of world history and language arts viewed through the lens of social justice. These teachers encourage students to think critically about historic and current events, while also empowering them to become change activists in their own communities. I think humanities is a really great model for learning language arts and history because the historical content is supported by narrative fiction and it makes it a little bit more interesting on both sides. Um, students tend to understand the stories better because they know the historical background and the historical background becomes more interesting because you have a story to pair with it. Um, it also allows us to have more time with students focused on similar skills. So the writing skills that you would learn in English are really similar to what you would learn in history, but by putting them together, um, students get 80 minutes every day with the same teacher. And um, that continuity is great for building those skills throughout the year. We focus on common core standards. Uh, so that's um, writing, informational writing, argumentative writing, um, and narrative writing. Um, and so students will hone their written communication skills. They will become stronger readers of um, informational texts, uh, so news articles, nonfiction books, and they'll also become better readers of stories and be able to make connections and learn about places they can't travel to um, through stories. On top of that, the project-based learning model, it helps students hone their collaboration skills. So they learn to um, work together. They learn that communication is immediately important because um, they have to work with their peers and they understand that their success is tied to the success of people around them. They get really good at learning from each other and teaching each other. At Cleveland, electives play a vital role in your students' learning. Our goals are to help students explore other fields outside of their regular STEM classes. Electives include art classes, music, health and PE, 
world language, journalism, engineering, and computer science. Some of these classes are required electives, meaning students will need them to graduate or to complete the SOED or SOLS pathway. With courses like graphic arts and video production, students are exposed to various careers in technology while using some of the latest industry standard software. In graphic arts, students have the option to earn credit for fine arts or occupational education. In classes like ceramics, drawing and painting, and jewelry making, students get to tap into their creativity. Art surveys where students become familiar with the fundamentals of art. In music, students have the option of playing for one of three music ensembles, band, drumline, or orchestra. There was also guitar and music appreciation. All students need fine arts credits to graduate, so Cleveland students have a nice mix of classical art and music, as well as modern technical art. Both PE and health are graduation requirements. Most students take personal fitness and health during their freshman year. Students also have options like rhythm and dance, team sports, and weight training. In world language classes at Cleveland, students will get the opportunity to authentically communicate in a language other than English. As they move through the levels of world languages, students will be exposed to different topics ranging from personal life to global issues. Using the skills of listening, speaking, reading, and writing, students of world languages develop awareness of cultural products and practices in both global and local communities. What students gain from all these elective classes are the ability to express themselves through creative outlets. Students build problem-solving skills and the understanding of how effort affects the outcome of the work. Students come to Cleveland High School with various academic, behavioral, and social needs. Our special education teachers introduce students to various strategies and skills that allow them to be successful now and in the future. At a high school level, students learn more about their unique abilities and how they are able to access the curriculum in each of their classrooms. I think the ultimate goal is to have students embrace their differences. Um, and in addition, our hope is to prepare students for classes and the real world, right? By providing them with a, a toolbox of strategies and skills. So I would say that there are several benefits of enrolling in uh, Cleveland High School. I think one of the things that we do very well here is we have implemented a co-teaching uh, model uh, in our classrooms. And what that looks like is it involves a general education teacher and a special education teacher that are teaching the same content in the same classroom. This differs from a traditional model of special education where a student is pulled out of the classroom and taught uh, separately. So being able to be in a classroom where there is co-teaching going on, uh, it allows the students on IEPs to remain in the classroom with their peers. Uh, I also think that a big advantage is that every student benefits from being in a classroom with two teachers. Within special education classrooms, teachers are able to focus on the whole child and their individual needs. Students in special education are provided supports in a concentrated form and work very closely with a special education teacher. This department helps bridge the gap between the grade level content and the abilities of the student. ELL stands for English Language Learners and basically our department works to support students whose native language is not English um, and we work to support them through their reading, writing, speaking and listening skills and we do that through support classes um, as well as working with general education teachers um, in the classrooms as well as also working on developing strategies or sharing strategies that we know work well with ELL students or for ELL students. At Cleveland we have two ELL teachers, one who works primarily with 9th and 12th graders and one who works with 10th and 11th graders and we also have four instructional assistants, one whose native language is Tagalog and another who is Somali, the third who is Spanish, and the fourth is Vietnamese. 
Some of the best ways you can support your student in Cleveland's project-based learning environment is by encouraging them to work through problems with group members and learn good skills for collaboration. Encourage them to make use of their advisor and advisory time. Get to know ECHO, our school's grading system, and ask your student to talk with you about their grades regularly. Support laptop use. Stay in touch with your student and with us. High schoolers need us.